When I was 10, my future looked so clear to me. Married to Josh Hartnett, with two kids, driving a Honda Odyssey. Not a bad life. Got another one coming. Push. Wait, what's going on? There's been a mistake. I came here to see one of my friends. He had a heart attack. Don't worry. You did great with the first two. Just keep pushing. You're having triplets. No, I'm triplets? And now, baby three. But here's the thing about childhood fantasies. They almost never come true. Congratulations. It's a podcast. Mabel. 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 The doctor said I can finally go home. What? Yeah. No, 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 no. The man had a full-on heart attack five days ago. You rush him in here, stick in a stint to prop up his creaky artery. Nobody said creaky. Now you're just gonna go and send him off into the world? Mabel, I need to get back. My show opens in two days, and my star is about to be charged with murder. Doctor, maybe you should just run a few more tests to be sure? His body responded very well to the stint, <laughs> although I'm sure it was quite a scare for all of you. <laughs> I wasn't scared. Oh, is that so? You know, I was just pretending to be unconscious when I heard you wailing. I can't let him go. Come back to me, you sweet son of a bitch. I was doing a performance for the nurses. They're big fans of mine. What am I going to do, not be Charles Hayden Savage? Oh, admit it. You're obsessed with me. Can't believe I actually missed this. Come on, Putnam. We've got work to do. Yes. Let's go. Yes, yes. For starters, if Loretta made up her confession to protect her son, don't we need to prove that her son is Ben's real killer to get her out? Loretta's been in jail a few days now. I wonder if she's shaved her head and gotten all jacked. I can't let her take the fall for this. She's the love of my life. Love? I thought you were just hooking up. Oh, we hooked up. We hooked up big time. We hooked up and down in every which direction. Okay, you name right, away, you. Oh, we did okay. a I yeah. promise we will get her home to you. No matter how many face tattoos she has now. Uh, Charles, did you learn anything from those police interrogations we so skillfully recorded? Actually, we haven't watched them yet. We were sitting by your bedside this whole time. Mabel wanted to wait so you could be a part of it. A little softy. Uh, no, I, I didn't. It wasn't like I was like, let's hold hands and watch it together. It was just like, shut up. Okay, we're focusing on Dickie. Loretta clearly thinks that he's guilty. That's why she confessed to protect him. Ben was poisoned and then later pushed down the elevator shaft, but we don't know whose hanky he was holding on to when he died. I mean, it could be Dickie's. We know that someone wrote fucking pig and lipstick on his mirror, and we have footage of him in a heated moment talking to an unseen person, possibly a lover. It could... Can we just take a beat to appreciate how magical this is? The three of us, reunited at last, investigating as one. Mabel, you stayed faithful to the podcast. You should take the lead. Uh, just, the besties are back. Oh, that should be our opening line. You just said Mabel should take the lead. Can I make a suggestion? I narrowly escaped death, and now you won't let me live? Oh, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, this is fucking weird. Okay, okay. Besties are back. The besties are back. It may take two to tango, but it takes three to solve a murder of an ill-fated movie star. Welcome to a brand new episode of Only Murders in the Building. Perfection.